I actually have a bite here. Maybe. Oh, oh baby. Wow, is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fish on. Wow, is this? Man alive. Oof. I don't film a lot of it. A lot of it gets cut. Blah, blah, blah. Cut scene four. You don't even make it in. So, uh, I got, um, so yeah, I got fishing on the brain. The river, it's supposed to be rainy the next couple of days. So I think today is just going to be overcast. Slight chance of rain. I got my backcountry rain gear. And I mean, I got chest waders that I could throw on if need be. Uh, it's just harder for me. It's kind of hard for me to walk in chest waders because my left side is weaker than my right side. I'm working on that. I've been working on that for like three years, like aligning my body, aligning it properly. So, but I do have rain gear and all that, so I could still go out and relax and try to catch some fish, do a little filming, and uh, find some peace by the river and the water and in nature. So, I think that might be my plan for today. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> ah, she looks beautiful. I gotta tell ya. This litter up on there. I went with carpet. That I got from my aunt. <laughs> I was using it in my ice shack. <laughs> oh. Hotel, baby. Oh, I'm gonna throw a picture of me up right here in front of the Winona Paper News. Like two years ago with Dun -da -da -da. Old Town Baby. She is on the water. Boom. We put her with the trailer. You my brother down here. Oh, no wind. Just had a storm. Nobody out here. This is a sturgeon hunt day. I'm gonna throw that picture up because that day I did catch a sturgeon and I hunted for that sturgeon for, oh, weeks, man. I don't even know, maybe a month we were sturgeon fishing. So, beautiful. Life jackets, always wear your life jackets. And fish are gonna be biting. Stoked face, this is my stoked face. <laughs> Oh man, it's been so many years. <laughs> Woo! Boom. It is sprinkling a little bit, so all the fish are gonna be biting. We'll get something. I'm going for a multi species day type of a fishing adventure. Anything I can catch, anything on the line. Big or small. I was micro fishing the other day at the city park in St. Charles. <laughs> Hometown micro fishing. I haven't fished there in like 30 years. Caught my PB trout of the season. 14 and a half incher. I'm gonna throw a picture of that up in here too. <laughs> that was a beautiful trout. All right, all right, I gotta get my poles. We're taking off, we're on the water. Oh, what? Old Town, yeah, let's go uh, cruise the bay. There's nobody else even out here. I know, I gotta get my, let me get my black spinner bait here. It's a cloudy day. So, instead I'm going black, the grape grub. The old bait fish, I bought those especially, bait fish image. Black along the clouds. Oh yeah, they're gonna love that.
little sprinkle. This was my micro jig I was fishing with at the city park yesterday. The, my swivel is bigger than my hook and yeah. bait. Yeah, my little pink one that I caught that my PB trout on. I'm gonna swap that out. Oh man, it's looking exceptionally fishy. We got weeds. What are you rocking? White spinner bait with a uh, willow. Or, yeah. We got tail. Oh yeah, light blue. We got some spawning beds up there along the weed edge. A bunch of sunfish, I would imagine. Oh yeah, the bass for sure. Probably done by now. I am ready for some fish action. Got this recording. I just heard it beep. We had something just jump right here. Checked my drag. Oh, I could use some oil on the reel. Fish just flew all the way up out of the water. Yeah, I'll have to put some oil on here for sure. Oh, it's going to be so nice to see a fish swallow that thing by the boat. All right, maintenance. Oh, that is smooth. All right. Oh, first time out in the canoe fishing the other side of the weeds. What a perfect day, too. No wind. Come on, baby. I need to test my drag out again. Test my drag out. Yeah, and actually, here, you want to pull that from the end? Just give it a pull. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I won't go any tighter. No, not going any tighter. Oh, that is much better. Thanks, dude. Got a little bait fish jumping. Oh, big bass. I know, the froggy. <laughs> we will uh, have to dig my sonic frog out. Summertime top water. Come on, fish. Going down a little deeper here. All right, right over here in this little pocket. Oh, 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 pike. Oh, it's a pike. I saw a spin come up, a good size pike. Missed my whole lure. I can't cast that, it's all you. Our new little back paddle. I saw his back dorsal and they came up and over my lure. Good size one, probably 25. 
Oh, 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 baby. Eight pounds, bigger than most. Tell them out about my 48 and a half inch one that I caught on four pound test. Yeah, I guess it was like 35. I think it was close to 40 pounds, probably. Ripping around on four pound test. Like, that's got to be some kind of a record. <laughs> I don't see anybody beating that. 48 and a half inch river pike on four pound ultralight. That, that pike towed close to 600 pounds. I'm, I'm so surprised the four pound test held up. A little deeper out here, it's like 15 feet. All right, we got one rock in the top water spook. And I'm still with the black and grape. They've been coming up, so top water's good, a cloudy day. Otherwise, we are gonna work this weed edge back around down that way and then head out to the main channel. We got some bait and we're doing multi species today, whatever will bite. Bass and a nice pike so far. Nice clear grass. Spawning beds down there, right there. We just went over a bunch of spawning beds. Look at that. Big old one. Yeah. A couple of them. This is that point. There's always something sitting on this point. I should really take that frog out of my box. I know. I was thinking the same thing, but I'm just going to cover this and then we will go out and just drift down the shoreline. Um, until I decide to use some bait. Nice grassy edge here. Oh, just prime. Nice and clean. Where's the bed? Oh, fish on. Oh, dog, it's a bowfin. Oh, how's this? Oh yeah, you got me too. I took a mouthful of river water on that one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Bowfin, how you doing, buddy? Oh, the spinnerbait destroyer, that's for sure. All right, loosen you up just a second here. There we go. I don't want you breaking me off, my friend. Under the boat. Oh, under the boat. Spinnerbait destroyer. Woo! Flopping. Yeah, they're so strong. See ya, buddy. <laughs> yeah, nice. First bowfin of the season. Zipping. Cutting line. Woo. Just destroying the spinner. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Now, here comes the interesting part. How do I get the fish off? Uh, yeah, just I used to swing it around to you, yeah. All right, so let's see here, though. I want to see if I can't do a little something. Oh, yeah, and just engulfed it. You want to lean to the right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Hi, there, buddy. Wow. Ah. Ah. All right, I'm 
gonna swim to you actually. Uh, well. I just like scoop my way up there. Nah, here you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't have a good grip on him anyway. Ooh, it's tight. That was a spinner. Oh, look at that. There, she's all banged up, all twisted up. Oh, wow, yeah. Boom, fish in the old town, baby. Thanks for the release. Appreciate it. I got my camera guy in the back. <laughs> my fish release guy. Oh, look, we got a little loaded little uh, flower out there. Lily pad flower. I want to say lotus, but it's not. <laughs> uh, the lily, those are illegal to pick, you know that? Yeah, those white flowers. For sure. Whew, nice. Boom. I wonder was I recording? I was recording. I'm gonna have to wipe my lens. <laughs> oh yeah, man, you got us good. Bowfin, first bowfin of the year. How big do you think that was? It's about four or five pounds, but 22, 23 inches. <laughs> no, barely any wind out on the channel. Oh, what do we got there? Oh, big old bluegill. Like eight incher. Oh yeah, big fat bluegills right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Triple. Boom, yeah, they just went flying. There's one here. Big fat group of bluegills. This must be their spawning bed here. Yeah, we got one just sitting there. There they go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they were all good size. Eight, ten inches. Bass bait. Well, not in this state, but... Apparently down south you can use them as bait. Oh yeah, the grass line is growing in a lot. Wow, I didn't even want to cast over that. Oh, we got something. He thinks he's got a walleye. Oh, it is a walleye. No, it's a pink. Right off the little sandbar action. Oh, nice. We got a pike girl. Did look like a walleye for a second. It was like gold color. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I spook another fish here in front. It just gets shallow right here. The water flows out, so they like to sit right in this area. Nice, fish in the old town, baby. Oh, look at that wake, I just had something. Wow. Right by where my lure went. Okay, I want to see the reel by its tail. All right, there's Turtle Island. Somebody's fishing the boat over there. There's the entrance. Make our way over there someday. Oh, sturgeon. Right there, I just happened to look as he was dropping back down in. This is probably 25, 30. Didn't come all the way up, but like all the way to the tail and then drop back down. Well, we stopped here. We got some debris in the water log. It's been here for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna throw a piece of, there's some live bait out here. Just downstream from it, we got the spillway down there, 200 yards. Got a little rocky transition in front of us, about 50 yards it comes up. Pick a smallmouth walleye area, but yeah, I'm gonna lob some bait in here and boom, get some more fish on. Get some more fish in this boat. Oh, 
I actually have a bite here. Maybe. Oh, oh baby. Wow, is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fish on. Wow, is this? Man alive. Oof. I can't do much of anything. Up and over that. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Here, ready? Now go up and over it. Yeah. There, fly now. Right. Right. Just, you're good. We're not going nowhere. Not huge. I can see it up there in the shallows. Uh, I think it's a sturgeon. Just ran straight for the shallows. Ah. Oof. Woo. Wowzers. I didn't even know it. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah. It looks like a sturgeon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Heading out to sea. Heading out to sea. Yeah, heading out that way. Okay, well, we got the anchor rope right down here. Oh, don't break me off. Damn, my drag is way too tight. Tighten it, loosen it just a little bit. There. Okay. It's trying to go back to that log. Yeah, yeah, right. Here, I have a pole in the water. Yeah, yeah. You can have it made out there. Thank you. Right. Yeah, right off that log, like all of a sudden I like it looked like my my uh line was moving. Yeah, I looked up and it was just like little barely barely moving. Barely moving. Wow, no, I just I set the hook into it and just railed forward. It's not huge. Not like this. No, it's just 30 inches, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, it's a good size. It's a nice one. Not as big as that five four and a half footer I just saw jump out there. It's a five footer. This is on the night crawler. Yeah, yeah, it's not down. I don't know, it's gonna be lucky to catch some bitches. Woo! Come on, buddy, I don't want you going back in that, back in the log. He's like trying to get back into the stick. Yeah, I have no idea. There we go, we're coming out to the channel now. Okay. He went straight up to the weed edge. We got a rainbow up there. Whoo! You can see it reflecting on the water. Oh, that must be one of those That's a sun dog or something, yeah. Ooh. First day on the canoe, dude. We sturgeon hunted for like two months straight. Boom, there's a big one. Ooh. Summered that one year. Yeah. Caught one. I'm gonna throw, uh, in the video, I'm gonna throw the me on the front page, musky sturgeon hunt in action. Oof. Woo! Both in and a sturgeon. We got water moving over here. That right is kicking the water Oh yeah. <laughs> kicking the water up off the bottom. Why are you hooking with that weak ass 10 pound line? It's up here. Oh baby. I can see it. Is oh, is it a red horse? Oh, I think it's a red horse. The biggest red horse you ever caught. Oh man, I'm pretty sure I'll be disappointed if it's a red horse, but fun fight nevertheless. It's, what is it? I think I it's a red horse. Here. I saw a red tail. No, no, no. Uh, come on, see. Big carp, dude. Big carp, big red horse. See the red tail? Big old carp. Oh, <laughs> no sturgeon. Oh man, alive. The big carp. Yeah, it's looking like a 15, 20. Jeez, should we do a catch and cook? Look at the size of that thing. Wow, all right. Well, whew. I don't even know. 
how this is gonna go. Let me see here. I just ain't barely hooked, though. So. Barely hooked. Uh, yeah, here. Oop, no you don't. Oh, no worries. Line it up for you here. <sighs> Tired you out, didn't I? <sighs> Circle hook. Right in the side of the mouth. Wow. That's a big one. Wow. Fatty. Actually, here, let me pull back here. Feel it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you can. It's big. Those are the ones that'll snap your line. See how heavy it is or what? Oh yeah, it's a... This is the kind they bowfish spin for, bow for. Yeah, probably 12 pounds. 12 pounds or something? Yeah, yeah. All right. Come here, baby yeah, girl. That's pretty much even with like the biggest carb I've ever caught. Yeah, that was the biggest one I've caught. Bigger this is my PB bigger. right here. Yeah, you gotta just... Ah, adios. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Woo! Circle hook, baby. Yeah! Not the sturgeon. Had me psyched out like the turtle, man. Got me psyched. That was fun, though. I love it. Woo! Leave it in the comments. You gotta either love it or not. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, not even a bite. I'll take that back. Thank you, good sir. That was on the crawler. Oh, man. Well, I saw it because it like went from here ripped all the way to the weed edge and then i heard seen it turn sideways and i saw the sharp tail with the red and like so it looked like the shape of a torpedo in sturgeon oh man oh the wrist Whew. the wrist is tired thank you ah. nice yeah that was just right down behind the rock off the boat Whew, that was fun. This one's out here just to capture some jumping. I got the waterproof one here just rolling to hopefully get a jumping sturgeon out there. Biggest one I just seen come up was over there. I probably almost five feet. I don't even know. That thing was giant. Ah, 16 inch back. <laughs> Whew, nice. All right. Well, time to re uh, bait up. Old Town Adventures. First one in the books. I love it. Oh, getting a bite. Bite on in the crawler. Ooh, not huge, but my drag seems a lot looser. Oh, feels like a, oh, it's a little cat. Look at this, a little baby cat this thing is pulling my drag, dude. Yeah, I think it's a, uh, what is that? Is it a catfish? Yeah, it's a catfish. Is or is that a bullhead? I don't know, it's so dang young. Is it like know. a channel or a... Uh... No, it doesn't have a yellow belly, dude. It's definitely not a bullhead. Wow, oh, 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 easy there. That's a pretty little catfish, though. Wow, it's not a channel cat. I think it might be. You think so? Yeah. I guess it does look well. the shape of it. Yeah. Wow, look at the outline on its fins. Yeah. That's cool. Like its back fin is highlighted. Wow. That's a beautiful one. Nice. So good. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Rup, 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 rup. He is talking. Rup, 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 rup. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, it's blue and. You got little spots? Yeah, it's gotta be a juvenile channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Wow, wow. 
Rop, 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 rop. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, did you hear that? Yeah, he was doing it before. Like, yeah. oh, I'm getting something on my minnow. Oh, goody, it's a big one. Oh, there, I got something on the minnow. Some head shakes. Yeah, big Some head shakes. It's not big. No, I just pull it in your mind. Okay. Uh oh, no. He slacked up on me. Got your line over here. Yeah. Not not the uh, huge or nothing, but it did take the minnow. Got five hundred twenty inches or something. Like I'm not sure. No. Oh, another one, no. same kind. Yeah, a little, little bigger. A little fatter. Yeah. What? I think a little smallest catfish we caught out here. That is the smallest catfish we've caught. Both the two smallest. Yeah. All right. Here you got your players. Yeah. He's got a fat belly now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Big old hook on there. There we go. Spike. Yeah, I'll get you. Yeah, I got the spikes. Yeah, they're little handles. Yeah, little handles. Yeah, that's a beauty. <laughs> Look at that uh, Little channels. Alright, buddy. A little fatter. That other catfish could have eaten both of those. <laughs> it's probably moon eye. Alright, we just missed something on the full sucker. And now we're going to make our way back up to the mouth of the bay. Actually, it probably was a moon eye eating the uh, mayflies. Yeah, that's big mayflies. Yeah. <laughs> make our way back up to the bay and fish the clear water. See how many species we can get. We got one, two, three, four so far. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's some big mayflies out there. Oh, mosquitoes. Okay. Oh, yeah, dude. I see them Dang. I'm going to have to get the off out. Which means I'm going to have to put away the camera gear for a moment. <laughs> no way I'm spraying that off on the camera gear. Mosquitoes are vampires down here. Drain you within a half an hour. <laughs> Shakes. 